Welcome to Geek Tech TV, where we do techy technology data vids. We do some fantastic stuff, man. I've seen this with Sarbinder, it's mind blasting. Hey guys, welcome to Geek Tech TV. I've uh, replaced my 5400 RPM drive with a 7200, and I'm going to do a fresh install over the operating system. For this, you will need the Mac OS X install DVD, which comes inside the box of your MacBook Pro. Now, uh, when you put the disk in, you just hold the option key. It'll ask you if you want to boot from your DVD drive, and you say yes. Basically, you just enter, press enter on the DVD drive. Uh, printer, fantastic. Okay, it'll ask you for your language. Uh, so, in my case, I will be selecting English. That's my preference. Um, yours might be different. Now, uh, it prepares itself for installation, and it comes up with the install Mac OS X um, wizard, basically. Uh, so, we'll click uh, continue. Now, the drive that I've put into my uh, MacBook is from my old um, MacBook. So we'll click continue and we'll agree to the terms and conditions and you'll notice that it's showing me two drives. Uh, once again, this is because I had two partitions on my old MacBook. I just want a fresh install. I don't want any of the stuff from the old drive uh, to still be alive. So we're just going to click on disk utility and format the entire drive. Uh, we'll select the drive itself, not a single partition. Click on erase. I'm going to pick uh, Mac OS Extended Journaled. Um, that's where I'm going to be installing the operating system. I don't need Boot Camp anymore because with the i5 processor, it's, it'll be easy enough to run VMware Fusion or our Parallels. Um, so we're installing the Mac OS now. Type in the name you want, click on Erase, and Erase again. Uh, this will give us just one hard drive to work with instead of having uh, different uh, partitions, which I prefer in this case. Um, so it shouldn't take too long. There you go. You've got uh, a single uh, hard drive to now work with. So click on the hard drive and uh, simply click on install. And uh, that's basically it. That'll take you through the entire process. Now, if, you're, if the hard drive that you took out of your uh, MacBook happened to have a whole lot of stuff on it that you still wanted to keep, just create a time machine backup before you replace it, as I've suggested in my last couple of videos. And I'll show you exactly where you can restore that time machine backup as well. Um, so you still get to keep your, your files, but with a new install of the operating system. I'll fast forward this for you, because I don't think you need to sit down for half an hour and see the installation. So we're done here. Uh, we'll just go through the contextual menus, basically. Pick the country you're from. Uh, so I'm, I'm in New Zealand. And uh, continue. Select your keyboard layout. Um, I'll just pick the default, the US keyboard layout. Now this is where you would, uh, if you had made a time machine backup, you would select from a time machine backup. If not, you would select the last option. I'm going to pick the last option because I want a fresh install. Um, that's basically it. Then you just click continue and set up your Mac. But the operating system is installed. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.